The 4th of July fireworks are off. Several residents near 18th and Liberty have complained about what they say were late night fireworks over the weekend. Yeah, late, late night, they mm -hmm. say. Uh, Jocelyn Person spoke to the owner of a convenience store who set off those fireworks. She joins us now in the control room with much more on uh, his reaction to the complaints. Jocelyn. Jill Sean, the owner of the store, says that the fireworks show lasted for about two hours and he was glad to do the show for the neighborhood kids. <laughs> It's a lot of kids that is, that's unfortunate to get down to the dock. Dave Thomas says he set off the fireworks on his business property, although it's on the Rite Aid parking lot. Every year, I put on a little show for the kids, you know, and after I get down, I make sure I clean up, you know, all the areas, you know, so it won't be a problem for the following year. Thomas believes the hundreds of fireworks that were set off might have lasted until midnight, but he didn't mean to go over the late night hours. He says he hopes many can understand. Except the fact that this is going to happen. You know, no matter where you are, like it wasn't just here, it was all over all over the city. They were just letting off fireworks. I mean, it's going to happen. The overnight fireworks were met with mixed emotions. And the kids were the main ones that I love seeing their faces with the fireworks going on, especially my daughter. She's four years old and she, uh, she was so excited running out here with sparklers and everything. And so I was happy for the kids, but when you get a certain age, you know, that noise gets on your nerves, but for the the Independence Day is for us being independent, and I think a lot of times people forget about that. The City of Erie Fire Department says they've responded to two dumpster fires caused by fireworks, which they say had nothing to do with Thomas's display. For the city here, it wasn't anything above um, what normally we get for the 4th of July, um, so unfortunately they get tracked as disturbances. Now, Rick Laura says that the Erie Police Department is working to upgrade the 911 software system um, to separate the fireworks calls from the shots fired and other noise complaints. Back to you, Sean. Yeah, laws about fireworks pretty tight in the city, but as oh, yeah. Laura said, um, you know, nothing unusual this year. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, thank you, Jocelyn.